Hey dudes, Blast Archie's here, and I'm hoping you're ready for another bodacious badass watch party, because we got two really good ones tonight. Two of the best films of the 2010s, and that is Hobo with a Shotgun and Turbo Kid. First up is Hobo with a Shotgun. Now, if you've never heard of Hobo with a Shotgun, it started off as a fake trailer that played during certain screenings of Gr Grindhouse in the United States and Canada. My screening did not have the trailer, so I didn't see it until after the fact. But much like Machete, this mo it was eventually turned into a feature-length film in 2011. And if you have not seen this movie before, I am fucking envious of you, because this movie is fucking awesome. I wish I can watch it for the first time again. That's how much I love this movie. Uh, if you love Grindhouse movies and Vigilante movies, this is like the perfect of both worlds. It's like a Vigilante movie on cocaine. And that sounds badass to me. Now, what is Hobo with a Shotgun about? It stars the late, great Rudger Hauer, who plays the hobo with the shotgun, who enters the city corrupt with crime, and he decides to clean it up one shell at a time. Holy shit. If you're, in, if you're here for the carnage, this movie fucking delivers. With the word shotgun in the title, you know what you're going to get. A lot of people getting shot. With a shotgun, and it's 100% practical. This being a newer movie, you wouldn't expect it. Well, a newer movie, it's, it's 11 years old now, but at the time, you would expect everything to be CGI'd. But this movie is all practical. And not only is there a lot of shock, shotgun blasts, there's all kinds of other carnage as well, including some carnage with a lawnmower that would make Peter Jackson proud. I don't want to spoil everything, but this movie is really gory, and it completely delivers everything you'd want in a movie called Hobo with a Shotgun. As for babes, well, there is, there's some little bit of female nudity in this movie, but I'm going to give my um, blast approved um, stamp to Molly Dunthworth, who plays the hooker with the heart of gold that befriends the hobo. She did a really cool job, and I liked how in the last act of the movie she kicked some ass. So, Molly Dunthworth, you're blast approved. So, Get your favorite snack, get your favorite brew, get you some bud, and get ready for Hobo with a Shotgun. If you don't like this, then you're not cool. I'm just kidding. But I'll see you after the movie and before Turbo Kid. Catch you later. Hey there, dudes. I hope you enjoyed Hobo with a Shotgun. If you didn't, fuck you. Just kidding. But seriously, I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. Next up is Turbo Kid. And if you haven't seen Turbo Kid before, much like Hobo the Shotgun, I am completely envious of you. But also, much like Hobo the Shotgun, this started off as something short that was expanded into a feature flight film. It was originally filmed as a short for the ABCs of Death. It was going to be T. It's for Turbo. Unfortunately, the producers went with someone else for that short. But they liked the Turbo things so much they asked the filmmakers to expand it into a feature length movie and that movie of course is what we're going to be watching tonight Turbo Kid now what is Turbo Kid about well it's a post apocalyptic movie about a young teenage comic book fan who dons the persona of his favorite comic book hero the Turbo Rider to save his friend from an evil overlord of the wasteland if you're a fan of Mad Max and Mad Max inspired movies and you will absolutely love this movie. This is one of the best post-apocalyptic movie outside of the Mad Max movies. Now that's not a quote from me, that is a quote from John Smith and I trust that dude. I trust him with movies. I don't trust him with trying to save my life. That little fucker almost made me drown. I still love you man. You rock. But yes, if you're a fan of the Mad Max movies you will love Turbo Kid. It was directed by a trio of filmmakers who call themselves RKSS. And I think the reason they call them themselves that is because their names for this dude are hard to pronounce. I will put the names on screen so you can read them, but they're some awesome people. They also did a movie called Summer of 84, which is much different from Turbo Kid, but it's still a really awesome little movie. Now, if you're here for the carnage, Turbo Kid sure as shit delivers the carnage. Um, Turbo Rider's main weapon is a, a wrist, wrist weapon that, when it's blasted at people, it causes them to explode into a million little bloody pieces. And this happens several times throughout the movie, and much like Hope with the Shotgun, it is 100% practical. Now, there's much more gore than that in this movie. All kinds of gore. People getting ripped in half, things going in people's eyes. Oh, man, this movie is gory. It's even gorier then um, I would say Hobo with a Shotgun. And that's saying a lot, because that movie is pretty fucking gory. But Turbo Rider, 
Turbo Kid, he plays Turbo Red. Turbo Kid um, delivers on the carnage. As for the Blast of Crew with Babe, I'm going to have to go with Lawrence LaBeouf, who plays Turbo Kid's friend, Apple. She is super charming, super cute, and so adorable. I personally would like to hang out with Apple. Um, she just seems like someone that would be a blast, and I'm blast, so I should know, to hang around with. So Lawrence LaBeouf, you are blast approved. She's not related to Shia LaBeouf, I checked. So she has that on her side. But, okay, let's start the movie. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something very special for you dudes. Um, there's a music video for Turbo Kid that came out after the movie that serves as a prequel to the movie and that features Apple and her journey throughout the wasteland. I'm going to play that before the movie so it can go together and you can get the whole story. It's a really cool music video. I hope you enjoy it. But get your snacks ready. Get some, get some more bud. And if you have some, send it to Blast. You get some toots. Send it my way. So get ready to watch Turbo Kid. I'll see you at the end to say my goodbyes. Enjoy. Hey there, dudes. I'm not the dude. You're the dude. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed Turbo Kid. Hell, I hope you enjoyed the tire show. Watching Turbo Kid with Hobo the Shotgun was a lot of fun, and I hope you had a lot of fun as well. I will see you guys in two days. We're going to be doing a Leprechaun Triple Feature um, for St. Patrick's Day, and I can't wait for that. It's the first time we've done that, so hopefully, much like myself, it's a blast. So, I will catch you in two days, my dudes. Later.